Hey folks, we're back. We're here on Charleston Boulevard at US 95. You can see the gas prices over there at that Union 76, 499 for uh, regular unleaded. That's the cash price. Gas prices, of course, have gone up as OPEC has tightened supply. They want to make more money off of us or punish us or whatever it may be. You can see a liquor store over here on the left, XO Liquor. Package store. Please do like and follow us on TikTok and on subs and subscribe to us on YouTube. We really appreciate it. The more views we get, the higher we get up rankings to other viewers, and then that puts us in front of new viewers, and we really, really appreciate you doing that for us. We're going to make a right here and go north on what is U.S. Highway 95 slash U.S. Highway 93 slash Interstate 515 slash could be Interstate, Interstate 11 with its multiple personality disorder. Not to make light of multiple personality disorders, of course. It just seems that it's searching for an, ad an identity. There was a 24% chance of rain today, but as you can see, very few clouds around now. It was cloudy earlier, a little overcast earlier. And we finally get the green here. We'll see how badly backed up the 95 is. For the sake of brevity, we're just going to call it the 95. But you can see its uh, designations there on the sign as we pass it. And please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. We really appreciate it. Going up the accelerator ramp here. Our acceleration ramp. Seems to be moving okay for the moment as we head technically west, but the signage is going to say north US 95. US 95, of course, runs all the way from the Mexican border all the way up to Canada. Not quite all the way over to Reno. You have to connect with some other, other roads up there in order to get over to Reno, but all the signage down here says 95 North Reno. As you can see downtown Las Vegas coming into view here. Motorcycle cop headed the other way. On this Saturday afternoon. So area of highway has been under construction now for a couple of years at least. And they want to uh, keep it under construction for a while, from what I've read in the paper. As downtown Las Vegas comes a little more clearly into view here, please do like and follow us on TikTok and on YouTube. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Fremont Street District, Arts District, and City Museums, exit 75. designate the end of the work zone as this Lexus SC400 got in front of us here. That's the same body of course as the old uh, Supra, Toyota Supra from the 90s. Center, exit 76C, and there's a Florida car. You can see the marquee on the side of the Circa, advertising to folks coming in from the north. Here in downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street. The Fremont Street Experience is, of course, down there. They're having a festival down there. Life is beautiful, it's called. Downtown Las Vegas this weekend. Lots of road closures down there. This is always a cluster right here at the uh, I-15 interchange with US-95. They really need to rebuild this east side with ramps. Let's see, I don't know if you can see the meters. The meters going off up here, allowing traffic onto the highway from the acceleration ramps. Our travels are gonna take us south today on Interstate 
15 towards Los Angeles as we will closely parallel the Las Vegas Strip while heading south. And also a reminder, we do take these videos and chop, up, up and chop them up into little pieces called shorts. We'll throw them up on YouTube. They are one minute videos. It's YouTube's answer to TikTok. And of course, TikTok now has up to 10 minute videos, but we do take the entire video and throw them up on our library on YouTube. So please do check that out. And also please like, follow, and subscribe to us on TikTok and YouTube. We really, really appreciate it. Need to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube and up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. All we can do is try. As we come out of the interchange there, the Spaghetti Bowl, as it's also known by the I 15 and the US 95, approaching the exit for Charleston Boulevard. And of course, we did just get on Charleston Boulevard. About four miles east of here, but to try and take Charleston down here to the 15 would have taken probably three or four years. So we just jumped on the highway. You can see the strat there, that's the very north end of the strip, and there's a good distance between that and Fremont Street, so highly recommend that you get yourselves a uh, an Uber or a taxi, or even the Deuce, the uh, RTC Deuce, they call it that runs all the way downtown from the Strip. Public transportation, the bus. And this is where the congestion starts to gather here as we approach the North Strip. Not sure if that'll come out, but the emoji theme is up on the sphere there. Behind Resorts World over there. Trump and Treasure Island. I just recently read Treasure Island's free parking is going to go the way of the dinosaur as well. It's unfortunate. Please do like and follow us on TikTok and subscribe to us on YouTube. We really appreciate it. We wouldn't be here without you. Let's see Palace Station, one of the station casinos we featured on other videos around town. They're opening up their newest station casino, the Durango Station, as we watch a BMW cross a double white line right in front of us. Our destination today is going to be St. Rose Highway down at the very south end of Las Vegas, but not the very south end of Clark County. That would be at Prim, 30 miles away the state line with California. And there on the right, you can see Spring Mountain Road and Area 15 with Meow Wolf, Omega Mart, and other attractions. I haven't been in there yet. I hear it's uh, kind of expensive, but if you're here on vacation, why not? And the Rio is undergoing a renovation, but it's kind of hidden, obscured from view there on the right see now the Mirage and Caesar's Palace to its right. Speed limit 55, it drops to here. I think that emoji screen on the sphere is very cool. They're supposed to be uh, doing their grand opening on Friday, the launch of uh, YouTube's Octung Baby. Tour. Let's see. City Center here with Cosmopolitan, Bellagio, Aria, Badara. And now I'm going to do the same thing that guy did. Because this truck is making me nervous. And please do like, follow us, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. Here's the we'll look at the back sides of Bellagio. St. Rose, the message board up there says St. Rose is nine minutes away. Well, that's kind of scary. There's a semi over here <laughs> in the median with headlights on. Looks like it's coming right at us here in this construction zone. As we go underneath Harmon. And now we're here towards the 
South Strip, south end of the Strip. And on the left there, you can see T-Mobile Arena, home of the Las Vegas Golden Knights, the 2023 NHL World Champions, as well as Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, Excalibur, and they're undergoing all this construction here at Tropicana, the, the interchange with Tropicana. As we look at Allegiant Stadium, home of the Las Vegas Raiders, they are actually having their first home game of the 2023 season tomorrow night here against the Pittsburgh Steelers. See folks on social media with their terrible towels arriving. And it looks like there's an event there right now. It might be UNLV, but I thought UNLV football was on the road this week. I'll have to look it up. UNLV football hasn't given us much of a reason to watch it for many years. See the Mandalay Bay Convention Center there. And you can also see the traffic heading northbound here at, uh, what time is it, 2.30 on a Saturday afternoon. It is really bad over there. It tends to be on the weekends, especially all the traffic coming in from California, but uh, the construction makes it get that much worse. As we approach the 215 Beltway, it is a beltway that circles and circles all of Las Vegas with the exception of the east side. They never did complete the east side of the beltway here for whatever reason. But it'll take you all the way around town unless you uh, end it up there in the north end of town and then you can uh, get on the 15 and come back down this way, south. Town Square over there. Guitar Center, movie theater, there's some nice restaurants and bars in there, just south of the Strip, Stoney's Rocking Country over there. And we're coming in here underneath one of the flight, pan flight patterns for Las Vegas International Airport. And again, if you like what you see, please do like, follow, subscribe, and follow. I think I said follow. <laughs> we really appreciate you being here. The 251 subscribers on YouTube and 384, I believe it is, followers on TikTok. TikTok, we need to get up to... 10,000 followers as we approach Blue Diamond Road, which this Blue Diamond goes all the way out to the city of Pahrump uh, in Nye County, that's N-Y-E, and on the east side of 15 here, it becomes Windmill Lane in the city of Henderson. And uh, approaching the Silverton here on our right, at this interchange, they have a great mermaids show there, along with the... Uh, Huge indoor Bass Pro Shops. Nice place to visit. From this point here, if traffic is okay, it typically takes about five hours to get to Los Angeles from here. Unless it's a Sunday afternoon or the end of a holiday weekend, then it's really bad. Silverado Ranch Boulevard here on the south end of town, along with two more exits that are pretty new at Cactus and Star. We just 
just passed. So that's 31 miles from this point to the state line with California here on Interstate 15 South. And I don't know if that'll come out in the video, but the Henderson, or the Las Vegas Raiders athletic facility is out there. The big gray and silver building. Or I'm sorry, silver and black building out there here deep in the city of Henderson. St. Rose Parkway, Southern Highlands. You can see the M sort of casino over there. We got a green light here, and there goes I-15 off to California. And we're going to make a left here in the Southern Highlands Parkway South. This is all pretty new. up on that mountain there. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. And I'll pull in here into Tuscan Highlands. And we're going to say thanks for joining, everyone. Please do check out our other videos, and we will see you again next time. Take care, folks.